Hello and welcome to today's flow as we flow towards the splits. When you're ready, set the feet wide apart. And then keep the heels where they are, open the feet out to an angle, bend the knees and sink the hips down in goddess. Rest the hands on your thighs and start to rock from side to side, getting a little bit of movement in the lower body, beginning to fire up the muscles in the legs. Continue to sink your hips down and relax your shoulders. Then soften the muscles in your face. I know this can be a challenging pose, but you don't need to do the pose with your face. Continue to rock from side to side, get a little bit more movement into the body. And then settle in and find your center, sink the hips down a little bit more, really nice. Focus on opening the knees wide apart. Let's take three more breaths here in through the nose, out through the mouth. That's two. Last breath. Really good. Press through the heels, straighten out the legs. Lovely. And then step to the top of your mat. Give the legs a little bit of a wiggle. Especially if they're tired now. Really good. Then set the feet a little bit wider than hips width. Bring the hands to your hips. Inhale, roll the shoulders down the back. Feel the chest lift. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forwards. Find a slight bend in the knees to begin. And then bring your hands to your elbows for ragdoll. Draw your chin to your chest, relax your neck. And let's sway it out here for a couple breaths. As you settle into the pose, start to straighten out the legs. Find a stretch for the hamstrings. And then just bobbing the chest up and down now. Really good. So, okay, let go of the elbows, reach for the backs of the low legs or maybe the backs of the heels. And begin to draw yourself in a little bit deeper. Think about bringing your belly towards your thighs, gazing in between the legs so the head and neck can stay relaxed. Stay for a couple more breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice, on an inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, bring the hands to the mat, step back to plank. Press away from the ground, gaze in between your thumbs. Let's hold it here for five. Spread the fingers wide for four. Draw the tummy in towards the spine for three. Relax your head and neck for two. Okay, last breath here on your exhale. Lift the hips. Come back into Downward Dog. Start to pedal out the legs as you find your Down Dog. Shimmy the hips from side to side and move into any spaces that feel good. Really nice, settle in, find stillness, ground down through the hands and the feet. And start to push through the hands, send your weight back towards your heels. See if you can find a deeper stretch in the backs of the legs. Keep pushing through the hands, creating length from your fingertips down to your tailbone. Really good. 
On an inhale, lift the right leg high. Keep the hips square. And press down through your left heel. Deepen the stretch in the back of the left leg as you lift the right leg high. Holding it here, a couple more breaths. Keep reaching up with the leg. Beautiful. And step the foot in between the hands. Lower the back knee down, untuck the toes. Reaching the arms up. And for now, keep the front knee over the ankle. Find a slight uh, tilt with the pelvis so you're not quite tucking all the way, just finding a neutral pelvis. And then from here on an inhale, reach the arms up. Press away from the floor. As you exhale, cactus the arms, sink the hips down and forwards, finding a hip flexor stretch on the left side. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring the knee back over the ankle. Exhale, arms wide, sink hips down and forwards. Couple more times like this. Inhale, coming up. Inhale, moving down. Two more now. Inhale, reach up, press away from the ground. Exhale, sink the hips down and forwards. Last one, inhale, press as you lift up. Exhale, arms wide, sink the hips down and forwards. And if you like, you can relax the arms by your side, let the shoulders roll down the back. Keep inviting the hips to sink down and forwards, finding a deep stretch in the front of the left thigh. Stay with your breath here. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the mat. Tuck the back toe and lift the back knee. And start to straighten the front leg and flex the foot. Think about drawing the toes towards your face. And take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Think about bringing belly to thigh. Staying here for five breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the front foot flexed, drawing the toes towards your face. Really good. And then re-bend the front knee, lower the back knee down. And edge the front foot to the right side of the mat. Bring both hands on the inside of the foot. Coming into lizard now. Staying up on tented fingers, lift the chest for an inhale. And as you exhale, fold it forward. See if you can come down to your forearms or maybe just bending the arms a little bit to deepen the fold. Staying here for five. Slow and steady breaths. Okay, come back up onto the hands. Then roll onto the outer edge of the right foot so you let the knee fall out to the right side. And start to twist to your right and sink the left side hip down to the mat. And you can stay here with both hands on the mat or if you like, you can reach the right arm back to deepen the twist. Keep sinking the left side hip down, letting the right knee open out. Stay for one more breath in. Exhale it out. Bring the right hand back. Untwist. And then step it back into plank. Holding it here for an inhale. On your exhale, hips high, down dog. Take a breath to settle in. Pushing through the hands. Sending your weight back into your heels. 
and then lifting the left leg high, keep the hips square. Press down through your right heel as you reach up with the left leg. See how much you can deepen the stretch in the back of the right leg as you press through the foot and keep lifting up with the left leg. Really nice. Stay for one more breath in. With your exhale, step the left foot in between the hands, lower the back knee down, untuck the toes, arms up, inhale. Keeping the front knee over the ankle for now, and then bringing the pelvis into neutral, so we're lengthening low back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms, sink the hips down and forwards. Inhale, reach up, press away from the mat. Exhale as you sink the hips down. Ah, couple more like this. Inhale, reach up. Exhale as you sink, send the hips forwards and down. Roll the shoulders down the back. Two more. Inhale, reach up, press away from your mat. Exhale, sink, shift forwards. Last one. Inhale, reach up, press away from the mat. And exhale, send the hips forwards and down, open the arms and relax them by your side if you like. Focus on pressing the hips forward so you begin to find a lot of uh, big sensation in the front of the right thigh. That's the area we're targeting here. Relax your shoulders, deepen your breath. Wonderful. Bring the hands down to the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and straighten out the front leg, flexing the foot. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, let's fold. Relax your head and neck and settle in for five breaths. Keep flexing the front foot. Think about bringing the toes towards your face. Beautiful. Rebend the front knee, lower the back knee down. And edge the front foot to the left side. Bring both hands on the inside of the leg. Staying up on your fingers, now lift the chest for an inhale. And with your exhale, begin folding forwards. Settle in for five breaths. Okay, let's come up onto the hands. Roll onto the outer edge of the left foot. Let the knee fall out to the left side. Begin twisting to your left. Sink the right side hip down to the mat. Option to keep both hands where they are or reach the left arm back too deep in the twist. Holding it here. Keep lifting the chest, sinking the hips. Okay, untwist, come back through center. Bring both hands to the inside of your left foot, then tuck your back toes, lift the knee. Open out the back foot like warrior two. Begin to flex the back foot, lift the toes towards the sky, and sink the hips towards the left heel for skandhasana. And you can use the hands for a little bit of stability here, or if you feel stable, bring the hands into prayer. Focus on pressing through the feet, Keeping the chest nice and open. Let's hold for a deep breath in. With your exhale, press through the left foot, begin to straighten the leg, lower the right foot as you bend the knee, and flex the left foot. Find Skandhasana on the other side. Again, pressing through the feet, keeping the chest nice and open. Stay for an inhale. 
Exhale, let's shift to the other side, keeping the hips nice and low as we shift. Use the hands if you need a little bit of help. Hold for an inhale. And move with your exhale over to the right side. Sink down, hold for an inhale. Exhale, shifting to the left side. This time, plant the hands to frame the front foot. Step it back to plank. Inhale in plank pose. Exhale, hips high, find down dog. Settle in and step the feet together this time. Keep pressing through the hands, rooting down through your heels. Wonderful. Then lift the right leg high, open out the hip, and bend the knee. Gaze under your left shoulder. See if you can find your toes. Keep lifting the knee up to the sky. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Then keep the back toes tucked for now. Straighten out the front leg and flex the foot, coming into your Ardha Hanumanasana, your half split. Focus on bringing those toes towards the face. You're really deepening the stretch in the whole back of the front leg. Using your fingertips for support now, press through the back toes, lift the knee. Holding it here for five. Keep the front leg really active. Think about drawing your quads up towards your hips. So a super active front leg. Beautiful. Lower the back knee down, take a little mini break. And then you have the option to come back to the same pose or if you're working into the full split, begin to lift the knee. If you're going into full split, then begin letting your front heel slide forwards, maybe even wiggling it a little bit to create space. And then the same with the back foot. So you're just sliding that back foot away, wiggling the toes to create space. Use your hands for support. And then focus on keeping the front foot flexed, back toes tucked under, so both of the legs are active here. Let's hold for five. Beautiful, stay with your breath. To come out, press through the fingertips. And then you're lifting the hips, pushing away from the mat. Slide the front foot in a little bit closer. Lower the back knee down. Then re-bend the front knee. Finally, your low lunge. Plant the hands, step it back to plank. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, lift the hips, find down dog. Step the feet together. Press through the hands, ground down through the heels. And on your inhale, lift the left leg high, open out the hip. Bend the knee, gaze under your right shoulder, see if you can find your toes as you lift that knee nice and high. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Lower the back knee down. And start to straighten out that front leg. And flex the foot coming into your half split. Use the fingertips for support as you press into the mat, lift the back knee. Holding it here for five. Keep the front foot flexed. Think about drawing your quad muscles towards the hips. So super active front leg. Okay, one more breath. On your exhale, lower the back knee down, take a mini break. And then just like last time, you're either coming into the same pose or you're working towards the full split. 
So let's go press through the back foot, lift the knee. And you're staying here, or if you're coming into the full split, begin edging the front foot a little further forwards. Slide the leg away and edge the back foot away, sinking the hips down. Using the hands for support, keep the front foot flexed, back toes tucked under. Holding for five. Beautiful, press through the fingers, lift the hips, edge the front foot a little closer and re-bend the knee, come back to your low lunge. Plant the hands and step it back into plank pose. Beautiful. Hold for an inhale, press away from the mat. Exhale, hips high, find downward dog. Start to pedal out your legs, move in any way that feels good. And then separate the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Push back through your hands. Really send the weight into the heels. Take a full breath in. Exhale it out with sound. One more like this. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Then bend the knees, lower them down to the mat. And then bring, bring the feet together. Sit back on your heels, bring the hands to your thighs and find a kneeling position. Relax the shoulders down the back and close the eyes. And taking these final moments, deepen your breath. Relax the muscles in your face. Bring hands to Pratt Heart Center. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a pleasure as always. Namaste.